MTV starts now. Good morning, morning Rotters. Today is Tuesday, November 5th. My name is Joel. And my name is Yasmin. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to MTV. MTV. Hey Joel, do you have any embarrassing stories? Not really, Yasmin, but I do know a few classmates who do. Let's watch as people share their most awkward moments. Yo, yo, Daniel, over here, Daniel. Hey, yo, what's good Marauders? Today we're gonna be finding out if any people have any embarrassing moments or stories. All right, what's good Marauders? And I'm here with? Esgar. And we're here to figure out his embarrassing moment. Uh, one time when I was young, I was I played youth football. My second year, we were having a game and we had the same colors on, like white and red. I played for Strathmore. So I ran into the field, I got to the huddle, I looked around and I realized I was on the wrong sideline. So what the heck, I had to run across and there was actually quite a bit of people. And I, that was really embarrassing for me. <laughs> Alright then, that was a good one. What's good, Marauders? We're on the hunt to get Mr. Lisea. We're trying to get an embarrassing moment. Mr. Lisea! He didn't freaking hear us. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I didn't mean to hit the door. Mr. Lisea, you want to do something great? We need an awkward moment or an embarrassing story. I'm it sounds does it sound familiar? Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember doing this one. Um, I, back in my senior year of high school. So an awkward moment back in the day was when your telephone, it had, you, it had two accesses. So basically if you're on the phone, your parent could be on it too. So I would be on the phone with friends and then my mom would be listening, eavesdropping, and I'd be like, mom, get off the phone. And so I think that was definitely an awkward moment growing up. Yeah. All right, thank you, Mr. Lee Sayer, appreciate it. Yep. All right, what's good, Marauders? I'm Juwan, and I'm here with? Jalen. And we're here to figure out his awkward moment. I got unresponsive, and my mom posted about it on my story, and I'm a loser now. All right, then. Oof. As much as I hate awkward moments, they make for some good stories. True. I just wouldn't want to be recognized for an embarrassing incident. Speaking of recognition, Matchy has a lot of staff that go unnoticed throughout the school year. Really? Like who? Well, how about our security guards? Good point. Let's see how our fellow marauders express their gratitude for campus security. Courteous. Generous. Caring. Helpful. Dedicated. Kind. Brave. Hi, I'm Shelly, and I've been working here for seven years. Thank you guys for always being available. Hi, my name's Scott Ponciano. I'm the campus security here at Menachee High School. I've been in this position for approximately the last four years. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Probably the most important thing I like about my job is working with these students every single day. And what I mean by that is just teaching them life lessons, helping them along the way. Not just school work, but just the big picture. So when they leave Menachee, they'll have a better understanding of what it's going to take to survive in this real world. Gracias for all you do and for always making us laugh. Hi. My name is Jesus Cardiel. I am Monachi High School Campus Security, and I've been working as the Monachi High School Campus Security for almost 20 years. And what I like about my job is to keep all of you guys um, safe. Have a great day. Gracias for keeping our campus safe. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Hey Sue, Shelly, and Scotty, thank you for being my left and right arm, my brain sometimes, and having the heart and safety for all our children. Thank you for keeping our campus and kids safe and for doing things even when not without the thank you that you deserve every day. Thank you to the three of you. I really appreciate that you love and care for our kids on a daily basis. We appreciate all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give a big thanks to our campus security for keeping our school safe. Time to hand it over to Kiara with the weather report. 
Good morning, Marauders. This week we're going to have cloudy skies with the temperatures in the mid to low 70s. Make sure to stay warm as it continues to cool off. Now back to Yasmin and Joelle. Thanks, Cara. Looks like we're in for some nice weather this week. That's right. It's the perfect time to go jogging and get in some exercise. Now here's Nick with the latest sports report. Hey, Marauders. If you enjoy running, then cross country is for you. Check out this clip for more details about the sport. Country takes a lot of dedication. Our student athletes definitely put in some hard work. Students are the only dedicated people on campus. Did you know that many of our teachers once served in the military? Actually, I did. Here's a Marauder Spotlight honoring these teacher veterans. I'm Mr. Salazar. This is my third year teaching at uh, Menachee High School. Prior to uh, being a teacher at one time in my life, I, I served a uh, as an active duty member of the United States Air Force. I served uh, from uh, 1981 to 1989. Um, I was uh, a sergeant uh, when I finished. I was a sergeant in the United States Air Force. But my primary duty locations were uh, North Dakota. My um, second duty location was RAF Freedom Common in England. I finished my career at Dias Air Force Base in Abilene, Texas. Um, my to be a security escort uh, for high-ranking military officers. The war that I served in, if you will, was the Cold War, which, uh, as I explained before, was a, a non-shooting war with the Soviet Union. It was a, a war of ideals. And I got to travel to uh, Berlin uh, during the time of um, East, and, uh, East and West Germany. So I got to travel on a troop train uh, and ride on a train with um, Soviet and East German soldiers, who at that time were all communist soldiers. And, and uh, we got to be in the same car with these guys. And so it was pretty interesting uh, when these guys are our sworn enemies and we're riding in a train car together across uh, Central Europe. So most members of the military do not see combat. So people from today who, who might graduate today and join the military, chances are very likely that they are not going to engage an enemy and they won't be in that situation. Thank God, but you know, that's kind of the way it is. But we kind of think, and I thought that too when I was in high school, that when I joined the military, you know, you know, I was gonna one day go to war. Thank God that wasn't true, but you know, it, that, that's what people think. Hi, my name is Jesus Alvarado, and I served in the United States Marine Corps from 1990 to 94. Um, I was an artilleryman, um, and so I, I did four years where I served in the first Gulf War, and I was also fortunate enough to deploy to Okinawa, Japan, and also I was part of the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit that did the workup um, in Kosovo in 1993. But I, I joined the United States Marine Corps in 1990. Um, from there, I went to Marine Combat Training, which is all, it's also, it's at Pendleton there, so just kind of moved north a little bit. Um, and then from there, I became an 0811, so that's why I have this patch right here. So that's, as an 0811, I was an artilleryman. Uh, we fired uh, the 155 millimeter howitzers, what they call the M1908, and also the 105. Um, and so I got certified at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. And so, you know, being there once, uh, as soon as I finished, um, I was sent to Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. And so in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, around, um, I think it was January, right, about the third week or so of January, um, they put me on a plane and they sent me to Saudi Arabia. So we were, we were there the, you know, three months. That was the totality of the time that we were there. Um, but as far as the war was concerned, it was a four day war. Um, after that, they basically said, hey, look, you guys have to go back and get, you know, ready for the next deployment. Uh, my experience uh, was that I was in the first Gulf War, uh, and so that in that picture, you, you'll notice that um, it is one day before the ground war. So that's, um, it's February 23rd, 1991. I, what I remember about the conflict is just simply that it was really fast. Um, so we were artillery and so we had the infantry moving in front of us and we had tanks and at times they were actually moving right next to us which was a bit unusual because we were already an artillery unit. Uh, my unit was uh, at that point it was uh, Delta, Delta Battery, 2nd Battalion, 10th Marines which later it was redesignated as Golf Battery, 2nd Battalion, 10th Marines. 
Um, but like I said, it was a very quick war, just kind of shoot, move, and communicate. And uh, before we knew it, they came up to us and said, hey, uh, the war is over. Thank you to all our teachers that served in the military. With the Veterans Day right around the corner, make sure to give any thanks to any service members you know. Well, that's all we have for you today, Marauders. Have a tremendous Tuesday. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Joel. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off. Just don't know what to do Cause baby